Today we're talking food prep. I don't know about you, when I get home and I'm hungry, the last thing I want is to be like scrummaging around my fridge and my pantry thinking like, what can I snack on immediately? What am I gonna eat for dinner? What am I gonna eat for lunch? Whatever, I love organization and to be all planned out. So today's Sunday and I'm doing some food prep for the week so that hopefully that doesn't happen this week. So I'm gonna walk you through a few things I do every week just to prep for the week ahead. And they're really, really simple. Some things I do to prep for breakfast, some for lunch, and then most of the time for snacks and dinners. Cause I just wanna come home and be able to like grab an easy snack and eat it real quick or um, take things that are already prepped with me. I usually have fruit on hand that's easy like grab and go. Things like right now I have apples that are easy grab and go, bananas, um, some figs, things like that that you can just take with you and run. Um, but I wanna prep some other things that I can still have during the week so that I'm, I'm not like hustling around or stressed during the week and I can just easily focus on nourishing myself. If you're new to my channel, I'm Dr. Anna Melendez. I'm a holistic family chiropractor in San Diego, North County. And on this channel, I focus all things natural health from uh, nutrition, exercise, low toxins. And my whole philosophy of health is your body's designed to heal itself. God didn't make any mistakes. So my whole purpose is really just to help families to heal from the inside out through those essentials of health and healing. So let's dive right into it. Starting with the best, cheese. This Kerrygold Dubliner cheese is so good. It's my absolute fave. And if I do not do this in the beginning of the week, this cheese will sit in my fridge till it's rotten. And so I have to cut it up into little slices like this, keep it in a little Tupperware, and then I can just grab and go whenever I need. Next is protein. I used ground beef this week, but sometimes I do chicken, sometimes I do ground turkey. It just depends on what meat I have on hand. So I made a thing of ground beef from Wild Pastures. I love that company so much. It's all grass-fed, grass-finished. I'll give a little discount code in the description box below. But I love having protein on hand, especially for lunches. I'll make things like burger bowls, banh mi bowls, stir fry, or taco bowls are my absolute fave, and it's just ready to go. Now let's make some gummies. These are the easiest snack to have on hand that also have some a good amount of protein in it. So I use this organic strawberry lemonade from Trader Joe's. Two cups of that in a pot. Don't turn on the heat yet. And then three scoops of this unflavored beef gelatin. I got it on Amazon. I'll put the link below. But once the gelatin is in, again, the heat is not on and it will bloom like this until you can't see any more powder. Once the powder is all dissolved, then you mix it up and turn on the heat to low. Plop it into a container and then put it in the fridge for about two hours. Every week I roast up some sweet potatoes or regular potatoes or a mix of the both, you know, whatever I'm feeling. But I'll just chop up a bunch of potatoes and roast them in the oven at about 400 degrees for mm, 25, 30 minutes and then keep them in the fridge all week. I can have them on hand for breakfast to slap an egg on top or a few or I put them into one of those bowls that I talked about, like burger bowls or even in tacos are really good. So I roast them with avocado oil and heavily give them a good dousing of salt and then pepper. And that's it. I usually keep it pretty simple. If I'm feeling fancy, I'll add some other seasonings to it. But this is probably the best trick to have easy things on the go to just add to meals. Having easy grab fruit is essential. And as I mentioned, I have like apples and bananas right now, but if I don't cut up this watermelon, it will just go bad on my counter. So I need to cut it up so I can eat it throughout the week. And I just cut into triangles and keep it in this big container and I'll eat it throughout the week. And it's so easy, especially with that cheese. Oh my gosh, perfect. This video wouldn't be complete without a raw carrot salad. This is the easiest way I know to actually make sure that I eat a raw carrot salad, preferably every day. But all you have to do is peel the carrots into ribbons like this. And I only had two left um, in my fridge, so, you know, I'll go to the store soon. But you peel the carrots and then put them in a jar, fill it with water, and keep it in the fridge for a few days. But it keeps the carrots super crisp. And so you don't have to do the peeling every day. You can just take out as many carrots as you need and make the salad daily and it's super easy. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a nourishing week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.